First openly gay elected official in the history of California. Milk was elected to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. He served almost 11 months on the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. Milk was responsible for passing a robust gay rights ordinance for the city. What set Harvey Milk apart from you or me was that he was a visionary. He imagined a righteous world, and then he set about to create it for real. For all of us. Today I celebrate his vision. A world where LGBTQ plus people receive not only equal protection, but equal dignity. I give thanks for his life and legacy. As we still continue in the struggle to make that vision a reality. These were Harvey's last words before he was assassinated. This is Harvey Milk speaking on Friday, November 18, 1978. This tape is to be played only in the event of my death by assassination. I fully realize that a person who stands for what I stand for an activist, a gay activist becomes the target or a potential target for a person who is insecure, terrified, afraid or very disturbed. Knowing that I could be assassinated at any moment, at any time, I feel it's important that some people know my thoughts, and why I did what I did. Almost everything that was done was done with an eye on the gay movement. I cannot prevent some people from feeling angry and frustrated and mad in response to my death, but I hope they will take the frustration and madness and instead of demonstrating or anything of that type, I would hope that they would take the power and I would hope that 5, 10, 100, a thousand would rise. I would like to see every gay lawyer, every gay architect come out, stand up and let the world know that would do more to end prejudice overnight than anybody could imagine. I urge them to do that, urge them to come out. Only that way will we start to achieve our rights. All I ask is for the movement to continue, and if a bullet should enter my brain, let that bullet destroy every closet door.